Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On that short video, I will show you how you can now import new training scenario into your FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition for MSFS. The first thing to do is to select the aircraft for which you would like a training scenario. So let me uh, select for that example the Airbus A320, the Phoenix Airbus A320. I don't need to select any airport, nothing, as long as I see the Airbus right there, I'm good to go. Now I will start FSI panel and I will show you how to import a training scenario. And before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. All right, here we are in FSI panel. And now to select a training scenario, what you need to do is make sure that you can see on the bottom of your screen that the Phoenix is the correct aircraft or whatever aircraft you want to fly. It might be the Mad Dog MD-82 or any PMDG-737. Once the correct aircraft is showing there, you're clear to go. So if you go to Setup, Scenario, then you will have on the left side here a table showing all the available training scenario. So if, for example, I would like to fly the Geneva to Zurich scenario, I click on it and now I get a small information box where I can see what is that scenario or about. And you have the starting position, so we need to start that scenario in Geneva at gate 8. This is the weather preset that we will need to use and the level of difficulty is a beginner. This is basically a flight from point A to point B with some very light uh, failure, very light failure. If you click on check lesson plan, you will get the lesson plan for that training scenario. So you can have a look at it before downloading it. So maybe you don't want to have it, you don't want to download it. So that's a way to check your uh, scenario before you download the training scenario. On some training scenarios, you will have a YouTube tutorial done by myself or another uh, YouTube streamer. Then you will be able to watch the training scenario right there. And finally, to import the training scenario, the only thing you have to do is to click on download scenario. If you click on download scenario, you will get a first information telling you that the weather preset installed has been done and that the scenario has been added to your database. Now you can see here that please select the weather FSI-LSGGLSZ. So this is important. This is the weather file that you need to fly to make sure the scenario match the weather. All right. So now that the scenario has been added to my database, if I go back to the main screen and I go to training scenario, I will see the last one, which is this one that we imported, Geneva Zurich, and I am... Um, I could fly it if I have the right weather file. And if you want to delete the scenario, then easy. You select your scenario, you hit your delete key, and you uh, acknowledge that's what I want to do, and the scenario is deleted from your database. All right, so now that we have the scenario installed, we need to pick up the right weather file. So for that, unfortunately, you need to restart MSFS. For now, we cannot uh, change the weather dynamically uh, in this version of MSFS. I hope that in the future it will be possible. So let me restart MSFS and I will show you what you have to do. So I will close FSI panel and I will restart MSFS. All right, MSFS has restarted. So what I have to do now, if you remember, we have to uh, select Geneva gate 8 as per the lesson plan. So that's very straightforward. You just select your... Um, your gate in Geneva, gate 8, that's it. Now I'm at the right gate and what I have to do is the weather preset. So for that you go to flight condition, preset, and the weather file was FSI LSGG to LSZH. That's the one. Select that weather file and we are ready to go. I can go on fly now. All right, we are ready. I click on ready to fly. I'm on my Airbus at gate 8, as you can see. And as always, we need just to power the aircraft. So I will power the aircraft on the APU as per the lesson plan. You can see that information in your lesson plan for that training scenario. So let's do that. We just need to import the uh, turnaround with APU. That will start the Airbus on the APU. And once the Airbus is started just like now we can 
launch or training scenario. So I will start FSI panel and we start the training scenario. All right, here we go. So now Geneva is detected, runway 22, the Fenix A320. I go to training scenario now. And you can see that the green scenarios are the one I can select. So right now FSI panel has detected that we are in Geneva and we have two training scenarios starting in Geneva. So the last one that we imported is the Geneva to Zurich. So if I click on it, I'm getting here a summary. And if you don't want FSI panel to program your MCDU, maybe you want to do it by yourself, then you can untick uh, that little box. But if you want FSI panel to do everything for you, just leave it ticked. Session instruction note, again, you can have a look at them. That's the lesson plan. And when you're ready, just click on start training. When you click on start training, then everything will happen. So here, do not touch anything as always and just wait for the first ATC instructions. Now FSI panel will set everything for you. So that will take around one minute and a half. So I will move that video a little bit forward and you will see whatever has been done uh, on your aircraft. All right, everything is ready. I'm getting now the first instruction to contact ground on 12168. So if I dial in 12168, that will be my first action to start the training scenario. So it's ready. And when I click, then I will start my training scenario. So this is how to import training scenario into FSI panel 2020 for MSFS. You can see now that the cockpit is fully set for my flight to uh, Zurich. I am ready to pick up my ATC clearance, so that can be done by the push to talk button. And then you will be on your way. As you can see, we are getting the clearance. This is a text scenario. The new ones have voice activated. Uh, you can see that on another YouTube video. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Any question or comment, please drop it below and I will be very happy to answer your questions. And as always, stay safe and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you next time.